Today we're going to talk about inconsistent arrow impact. There's multiple things that can cause this. If your arrow and broadhead is properly tuned and then you're having inconsistencies in your impacts, it can be hand pressure. And this is a vital part of making sure that you have consistent air impacts. Proper hand pressure in a bow shot consists of you not holding or gripping the bow. You draw the bow back and you settle in with light pressure on the sides or in front of the bow and all your pressure being in the back of your hand. Anytime you grab the sides or the front of the bow and you hold it and the bow goes off, this causes hand torque. When you're lightly holding the front of the bow and the sides and all your pressure's in the back, as the shot goes off with proper hand pressure, the bow has a chance to have natural reaction instead of a manipulated reaction because you're holding or manipulating its course. Josh White and I filmed Cinderella as a four-year-old. We found his sheds that year in, in the spring. They scored 206. He had 20 scoreable points. The following year, he was in the two, upper 220s, 230s. And this last season, he was in the 230s, upper 30s, 40s, maybe 50s. I mean, he's a, he's a 20 scoreable point deer and a buck of a lifetime and six years old. We didn't find his sheds last year, but he was seen a couple of times this year and verified that he was, you know, on the property. And hunting a particular deer, it affects everything you do as a hunter. It affects how you hunt, when you hunt, where you hunt, and it too many times it just becomes something that clouds your ability to see clearly. Well, it's the first morning here at the Hunt Club. October 30th. We got a south wind and about 40 degrees. Southwest, actually. It's supposed to be turning to northwest. We're in an all familiar stand up here in the spoils. So far quiet. We've got close to a full moon. We got an actual full moon on the 3rd of November. But it's good and cool. Weather trumps moon a lot most of the time. So we're tickled to death to be here. Some deer here at the hunt club, and we're got our eyes on a couple, so we're gonna see what happens. Full Draw Adventures is brought to you by Ozonics, Undetectable, Undeniable. E Ninja Bikes. Excel Sights and Scopes. Black Eagle Arrows, Superior Carbon Technology. 
True Ball Archery. West Houston Archery. Shrewd Archery. Last Chance Archery. Matthews. Introducing E-Ninja Off-Road Bikes. Powerful, rechargeable, and affordable, E-Ninja bikes are designed with the outdoorsman in mind. With a 48-volt high-torque motor and 21-gear Shimano transmission, E-Ninja bikes can go almost anywhere. Be the ninja with E-Ninja bikes. Every year, you know, first of November, the second week in November, there's that special time when all the bucks are on their feet. And yes, there's maybe one or two does in heat, but it causes just a, a frenzy. The bucks are just up and moving constantly. And it's not just two and three year old bucks, it's four and five year old bucks. And when this happens, like it did this year, you know, starting right after the first of November, it was, it was just, it was on the brink of busting wide open within the first week of November and, and our, our hopes were just super, super high. Pressuring your property, 
and killing your opportunities. This year, let nothing stand between you and your best season ever. Deploy a steady stream of odor-destroying molecules with every second of every hour of every hunt with Ozonix. Available only at ozonixhunting.com. So Chris and I spent quite a few days in the area where we thought Cinderella was. He just wasn't there. Too much buck movement and not seeing him. So we moved to an area where we thought he might would be. We had great buck movement and uh, I'd say two evenings after we moved, we got a glimpse of a great deer. And the next morning we got a much closer look at that same deer. My first really close encounter with the six by five, this deer just just fooled me. I mean, no question. I've seen a lot of big deer, um, but this deer, because of the size of his body, it made his rack look just really small. In, in my mind, I was, thought I was looking at a hundred and upper fifties deer, but his body was so big, it made his six by five frame look much smaller than it was. And, after reviewing footage, there's no question this deer is six, five, six years old and at minimum a mid-60s deer. After spending multiple days in the stand, passing deer after deer after deer, it just gets to the point where you know it's time to harvest some, some, some venison. I have five kids at home, and we eat six or seven deer a year and an elk when possible. So it was time to start putting some meat in the freezer.
it's worth the value. November at the Hunt Club did not disappoint. It never does. I mean, this place is, it's just a, it's just an amazing 10,000 acres that's been managed for over 30 years. And every year, it just, it's just awesome to be here. Uh, we saw large buck after large buck, but not the buck we were after. But even though November's over, it's far from over at the Hunt Club. The late season at the Hunt Club, is phenomenal.